Hi friends, I am going to show you how you can configure your dash controls and build dash pages in our dashboard application. Since this configuration part is quite vast, so I will cover it in three parts. First part of this video will cover all configuration options available in dashboard application. To configure dashboard, you have to click configure option in dashboard application. This option will be available to you if your role has a required privilege. Let me show you how to assign security privilege to a role for dashboard. In Genesis admin module under security setting node, role privilege option is there. Click it. Select the role you want to assign privilege. In right hand side, under business analytics node, you will find dashboard. If you assign view only, then user of this role will only view the dashboard pages, but cannot configure. If you assign save and edit, edit privilege, then only user under this role can configure dashboard. Now move on to configure option of dashboard application. In left hand side, there is configuration explorer, which shows different dashboard configuration objects in tree view. These objects can be classified into three types, data source, control or dash parts and dash pages. Let me explain these three types of objects in details. Data source. Dashboard data sources are specially designed objects which are used to fetch data from large organization database. To increase data fetching performance and to get instant reflection of real-time data, it was designed in a very sophisticated way. These data sources are system managed and user did not have any access in it. As per customer requirement, our R&D can customize these data sources. This is the foundation of dashboard application. Most of the data dashboard application failed to give desired results after a certain period of time because of the data volume. As we all know that business data is ever increasing in nature. As your business grows, your data also grows proportionately. Our dashboard designed in such a way you cannot feel any difference in its performance even after many years from now. If you click on a data source, in right hand side, system will show you the definition of the selected data source. To get an overview, you can go through the description associated with every data source. Even you can see the list of columns available in this data source. If any data sources are equipped with drill features, then all available drills would be visible here. For example, if you click pause periodic cell, see the available drills is showing here. That is, you can have a geography wise cell breakup drill. Now comes to the control part. Configuration of dashboard starts from control creation. Apart from Genesis supplied default controls, you can also create your own controls here. These controls are basically the building blocks of your dash pages. How you want to present your data is totally depends upon how you create and configure dash controls. Genesis provides endless possibilities in terms of data presentation in dash controls. I will come to the control configuration part later on. Dash pages. This is the final presentation of your dashboard. You can create multiple pages as per your needs. Basically, it's a flexible container or canvas where you can put multiple controls in a flexible way to view it collectively. 
Dash pages also have some security features. To view a particular page, you have to assign that page to one or multiple roles. User designated with that role can only view that dash page. You can create dash pages as per role or as per business functions. For example, you might create pages in the name of role like finance executive, finance manager, inventory manager, or you can make your dash pages considering its purpose of usage like post site health, ratio analysis, sales cockpit, like that. Now let me share you the overall relation between all the dashboard configuration objects. See here in this image, it is showing all the dashboard configuration objects. In data source, we have three data sources like DS1, DS2 and DS3. These data sources are system supplied read only objects. One data source can be configured into two controls. That means two control, control 1 and control 2 can have same data sources. Similarly, multiple controls can be embedded into one page. See in control page 1, control 1, 2 and 3 are collectively shown in page 1. And one page can be assigned to multiple roles. Control, what is this control? Implementer or administrator can design new controls. Pages, implementer or administrator can design new pages with different controls. And roles, page viewing authorization control through application roles. So, this is the architecture of our dashboard configuration objects. I think basic concepts of dashboard configurations are clear now. So let's move on to some more details on dash control in part 2 of this video. Thanks for listening. Take care.